Latest developments from the Capitol. Let's send things over to Team 12's William Pitts with a new push for education funding. Education is one of the biggest issues in the state, so we're asking one simple question. Is education better now than it was a year ago? There are lots of ways to measure Arizona's education system, like teacher vacancies. Last year, 23% of jobs still remained vacant. This year, 24. Justin Wing is with the Arizona School Personnel Administrators Association. Their surveys show only three quarters of teaching positions are filled, and that's after the Red for Red 15% pay raise. Well, there's multiple root causes. And I think teacher pay is still one of the main root causes. Governor Ducey says teachers will get even more this year. By the start of the new school year, teacher pay will be up 20 percent. But Wing says that's still not enough. In fact, a 15 percent raise didn't move the state's rankings at all. We went from 49th to 49th in teacher pay. So we dug ourselves quite a hole. I think it's going to take years to get us out of this hole. State Superintendent Kathy Hoffman came into office on the Red for Ed wave. She says Arizona's education problems come down to money. We continue to need a greater investment from the state. And we've done all of this without raising taxes. In the State of the State address, the governor proposed more education initiatives, like more money for teacher training, but no taxes to pay for it. Meanwhile, the Arizona Education Association held a competing press conference for its own ballot measure, higher taxes on the rich to raise almost a billion dollars for education. That'll bypass the governor. I think he's boxed himself in with this no tax pledge. Uh, that's fine. If he doesn't want to be part of this solution, he, he can do other things. Which puts the state in an almost identical position as it was in 2018, when the union proposed a similar tax to fund education. The Arizona Supreme Court pulled it from the ballot, saying it was too vague. William Pitts, 12 News.